Hi, I'm Morel with ID Fabrications, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to shape and paint our shell sets. For this, I'm going to be using our Tiger Paw shell set. Let's get started. The heat gun here. I'm going to turn it on. It's going to be on about the middle setting. Working with the lion paw shells. Been cleaned up a little bit, just trimmed them up, cut them up. I have a bra with a lot of padding in it, pretty stiff bra. That I'm going to use as my base to get the right shape on these. You just want to warm up the shell. You want to make it warm. If you make it too hot, it will melt everything. Better to go slow on a lower speed. Then risk burning it. I like to just do the top outer edge because that's where you want the most curve. And you can see it starting to soften up. It's going to be a little hot, so be careful not to burn yourself. And you can take your bra, set it where you want to set it, and then give it a little squeeze and form it. If you're making this top for yourself, it's good to have the bra on and form it around your body. And that way you can see where the edges poke at you, too. Oops, that was too much. You can keep doing this process over and over again, heating it up. As it cools, you'll notice that it'll have a lot less give. You can hear it cracking. I'm pretty happy with that shape. So I'll do the next one. And you can see the difference on that one, how it's kind of curved in a little bit to fit around. Might heat this one up a little bit more. Too curvy there. Let me just go ahead and do this one. I like the heat from the inside, so it doesn't you don't lose any detail. Because when you paint, the detail really comes out.
this one the plastic isn't as thick as that other one. So I was able to heat it up a lot quicker. And again, if you're making the bra for yourself, the best thing to do is to put the bra top on and form it while you're wearing it. Just make sure again that you don't burn yourself. And now they're ready for paint. If you're going to paint with just acrylic paints, I like to prime this with this one first. Just a primer. Make sure it has plastic on it. This I found is my favorite, the Rust-Oleum brand. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to go with a base color. Again, the Rust-Oleum, the Ultra Cover Plastics. And to, the key to get a good adhesion on these is dry time. So after each coat, give it as long as possible before you hit it with the next coat. I like to do it and wait overnight and then spray it again. And just a really light coat on the first one. Light coats and multiple over multiple hours will give you the best adhesion, especially if you want your shells to end up being waterproof. Now we wait. Again, the Rust-Oleum, the Ultra Cover, and Gloss Clear. I like the gloss because it really brings out the detail and everything when it's done. It looks really finished. It brings out the colors a lot better. So, just like to hit it. And again, I normally do two coats of this and make sure I wait a good couple hours in between each coat. The longer you wait, the better the adhesion.
now we wait. 